In this video, we will discuss the Elgamal encryption system. The main idea behind the Elgamal encryption system is one party, let's say Alice, wants to send a secure message to another party, say Bob. The Elgamal encryption system consists of three main phases, which alternate between Bob and Alice. In phase one, Bob generates his public key, which will be made available to Alice. To do this, Bob first chooses a prime number P and a generator G in the multiplicative group Z mod P. Next, Bob chooses a natural number little b at random and uses this natural number to compute capital B, which is equal to G to the B star. Since G is a generator of the multiplicative group Z mod P, this quantity capital B equal to G to the B is also an element of the multiplicative group Z mod P. Finally, Bob publishes his prime P, generator G, and quantity capital B, but he keeps the natural number little b a secret. In phase two, Alice takes over. Alice's first step is to retrieve Bob's publicly available prime P, generator G, and quantity capital B. Next, she chooses a message, little m, which is an integer in the multiplicative group Z mod P. Next, Alice chooses a natural number little a at random and uses this natural number to compute the shared secret little s, which is equal to Bob's capital B raised to Alice's little a power under the binary operation O times. Alice also uses little a to compute her own capital A which is equal to Bob's generator G raised to the eighth power under the binary operation O times. To ensure that Alice's message is only able to be opened by Bob, she encrypts her integer M by computing capital X, which is equal to M times S mod P. She then sends the ordered pair capital A, capital X to Bob. The third and final phase consists of Bob retrieving and decrypting Alice's message. To do this, Bob retrieves the ordered pair capital A, capital X from Alice and computes the shared secret little s, which is equal to capital A, to Bob's secret little b under the binary operation O times. In order to undo Alice's encryption, Bob needs to compute the inverse of the element little s inside of the multiplicative group z mod p. Once Bob has the element s inverse, he decrypts Alice's message by computing capital M equals capital X times s inverse mod p, which is equal to M, Alice's original message. To illustrate the Elgamal encryption system in action, consider the following example. Suppose that Bob chooses the prime p equals 7, the generator g equals 3, and a secret natural number b equal to 4. Bob then computes capital B, which is equal to 3 to the 4th power mod 7, which is equal to 4. Bob then publishes his prime P, generator G, and capital B, but, as always, he keeps his little b equal to 4 a secret. In phase 2, Alice receives Bob's prime 7, generator 3, and capital B equals 4. Since Alice knows which prime, which is 7, that Bob chose, she can choose to send the message m equals 5 to Bob. This is okay, since 5 is an element of the multiplicative group z mod 7. Alice randomly chooses the natural number little a equals 6, and then computes the shared secret, which is Bob's capital B, to Alice's little a power mod 7, which turns out to be 1. 
Alice then computes her capital A, which is equal to the generator G to the eighth power, mod 7. Since the generator is 3, and Alice's little a is equal to 6, Alice's capital A is also equal to 1. Finally, Alice encrypts her message by computing capital X, which is equal to 5 times 1 mod 7, which is equal to 5. Alice then sends the ordered pair capital A capital X equals 1 5 to Bob and ends phase 2. In phase 3, Bob receives the ordered pair 1 5 from Alice and computes the shared secret S equals 1. Next, Bob computes the inverse of the element S equals 1 in the multiplicative group Z mod 7, which is also equal to 1. Finally, he recovers Alice's original message little m by computing capital M equals 5, which is exactly equal to Alice's original message.